studying the coldest, furthest, lowest, and highest energies and the smallest things in the universe is difficult. It requires building all new apparatuses that push the limits of modern technology. Now, IBM has built the world's largest dilution refrigerator internally known as Project GoldenEye capable of cooling future generations of quantum experiments. This super fridge, a dilution refrigerator larger than any commercially available today by experimental volume. As reported in IBM's official blog, the super fridge contains 1.7 cubic meters worth of experimental volume, meaning it can cool a volume larger than three home kitchen refrigerators to temperatures colder than the outer space, versus previous fridges, which are in the range of 0.4 to 0.7 cubic meters. These temperatures are required for performing state-of-the-art physics experiments and potentially running large quantum processors. During experiments, scientists cooled it to operating temperature 25 Kelvin and wired a quantum processor inside. Dilution refrigerators are experimental cryogenic devices that use a mixture of helium-3 and helium-4 to cool a space volume to the millikelvin regime. Dilution refrigerators carry out this cooling by first employing a series of procedures to remove heat from the helium isotope mixture and then using vacuum pumps to circulate and dilute helium-3 into the helium-4 mix until the desired temperature is attained. Until recently, all dilution refrigerators were wet systems, requiring already cold substances like liquid nitrogen and other cryogenic fluids to begin the cooling. Project GoldenEye features an all-new construction of the frame and cryostat the main, barrel-shaped component responsible for the cooling to maximize experimental volume while reducing noise and achieving the temperatures required. The cryostat also has a clamshell design, which enables the exterior vacuum chamber to open horizontally and eliminates the requirement for removing the whole external shell to reach the inside components. A specially designed jib crane within the system could one day allow even a single person to run the bridge. Plus, it can be monitored remotely with the help of an open source visualization platform. Five normal units on top and five inverted units on the bottom of the cryostat's interior can be installed as ten internal plates for attaching components in its top and bottom halves. Additionally, it may accommodate up to six separate dilution refrigerator units, allowing for chilling capacities of over 24 Watt at 4 Kelvin and up to 10 MW at 100 MK temperatures. Finally, the system's weight of 6.7 metric tons reduces the need for additional dampening methods by helping to dampen vibrations. Scientists noted, most importantly, it works. After just three years from project inception to our recent 25 military Kelvin milestone, we performed one final characterization exercise, we put a cubic chip inside. We could reproduce coherence times of around 450 microseconds, similar to those measured on other commercial dilution refrigeration systems. We did not observe a decrease in the qubit's performance despite the different internal environment and much larger experimental volume. Despite being the largest, the super fridge requires less space than present-day, large-scale dilution refrigerators. GoldenEye will soon move to IBM Quantum Computation Center in Poughkeepsie, New York, where the team will be exploring large-scale cryogenic systems to develop the cooling needs of tomorrow's quantum data centers, such as the Blues Kid platform under development for use with IBM Quantum System 2. If you like a video don't forget to share, like, subscribe my channel and press bell icons for notifications of new video.